Hey hey people, welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo. Today we are going to show some recycling technologies and machines that are at another level. We publish three videos every week, so make sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell. As you know, recycling plays a major part in reducing environmental hazards. Nico engineers built this beverage container machine to cope with recycling needs. The machine automatically sorts bottles from the waste in the beverage container. With object detection sensors and transmission detection sensors, you can classify bottles and send them to the respective chamber. This feature saves plenty of time. Once it gets filled, the powerful hydraulic system compresses the bottle smoothly. The compressed bale can be taken anywhere for recycling. Do you know that 43% of recycled tire rubber is used as tire-derived fuel in cement manufacturing processes? But for recycling, it needs to be adequately cut down into pieces. For that, Gradol designed this machine. First of all, both sidewalls of tires are removed. Then the remaining part is cut down into pieces. You can use it for all types of tires. Next up, we have a baler, the HSL HL7009, made by Astoralba. They made their design especially compact, so that it takes up very little space. With its use, you can bale anything like cardboards, papers, and other domestic stuff that may bother because of taking a larger area. Its large diameter filling works perfectly for bulky cartons. This machine has a powerful hydraulic system that produces and applies 7,000 kilonewtons of force. This makes it suitable for large disposal tasks in retail and in small to medium central storage. You can manually bale strapping with wire. Thanks to the built-in tipping, it automatically unloads the bale. No doubt this machine is an engineering marvel.
Even though the shredding machines are not new, no machine can beat the shredder made by Willema. These shredders are used to cut the material into strips or fine particles. This one is built for fabric shredding, as textile industries use it for recycling. It has an enclosed hydraulic system, robust rotor knives, and a powerful drive with a Waima gearbox. All these features never let this machine down while shredding. Next up, we have some recycling machines from Geo-Riding Machinery. They have devised hundreds of machines for a variety of applications. First of all, the plastic is washed in the washing line. Then it is fed to the recycling machine. After shredding, proper testing of the plastic pellets is conducted in order to ascertain their quality and class. Then the resultant is extruded into pellets, which are then used for different plastic products. Geo Riding offers other recycling like heat compression in which all types of plastics are recycled at once. Eco Green brilliantly designed a single shaft tire shredder. Within seconds, its 24 ultra robust knives and blades cut down hundreds of big tires into pieces. It takes power from Haglund's motor and also has a custom built hydraulic unit. This machine can eat up to 12 tons of rubber in one hour and outputs each piece of rubber up to 8 inches. The plastic bottles that you are watching now are going to be shredded through the machines made by Moog Tech. First of all, these bottles are shredded with the help of a shredder. Then, the pieces of plastic went through the washing machine. When the impurities are removed, these are then fed to recycling machines, where chemical reactions occur. In the end, the fine-grained and recycled plastic is obtained. It can be used for the manufacturing of different products.
Next, we have the REC7242TBHS, a hydraulic pressing machine. As you know, tires are always bulky in size. Sometimes for recycling purposes, they have to be transported far away, and without pressing, it becomes economically impossible to carry more tires. But this machine enables more space by pressing the tile with its vertical hydraulic system. It also offers manual bail mounting and unloading. It's easy, efficient, and insightful. Aluminum is the third most abundant element on Earth. Approximately 8.23% of Earth's crust is made of it. But when it comes to manufacturing different aluminum products, it's not a wise idea to extract more aluminum from Earth. That's the reason more companies like Norsk Hydro are more interested in recycling. It saves energy, money, and the environment. Recycled aluminum is melted and poured into the frames. Norsk uses recycled aluminum to make building products like pipes, window frames, and more.
Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. What did you think of these technologies? Let us know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Make sure to hit that notification bell to get notified when we release new content.